Bristol Motor Speedway, an iconic NASCAR track, and the fourth largest sports venue in the USA. But today, the Speedway is hosting Global Rallycross, and the Subaru Puma Rallycross team is on the track for practice. The course uses the half-mile steep 30-degree bank turns, something that GRC drivers and cars have never encountered. The sustained load and stress these bank turns place on the cars is unprecedented. For the Subaru team, it could spell the end of their race weekend. I'm not quite sure what's happening at the moment. The banking is pretty extremely hard on this stuff. We're running a really wide track with the car. It's extreme force and probably have to change things a little bit for tracks like this. This is Launch Control. In any form of racing, design flaws are most often discovered on the track. And that is exactly what happened during pre-race practice. We still have some parts that are left over from rally. It's just different, it's a different type of racing. What I got here is basically a couple of broken studs in my hand. We lost all five of them. They basically pulled through from the inside out to the front. We don't go up on the banking like this with a full compression car. There's a lot of load on these parts. You know, we find a problem, we resolve it, and we just push it on to another one. So it's how far do we go before you're 110% and you eliminate them all. We found a machine shop, uh, a gentleman that we've worked with in the past, Michael Furrick, down in uh, Mooresville. We had to make a sleeve up to take up some of that tolerance so the load was uh, more properly on the stud instead of the nut. 80 pieces we needed. He worked really hard all night long. We left his house at 3 in the morning. To be in the middle of a car park on a Friday afternoon when we're racing Saturday, a thousand miles from home, you know, it's not, not that easy, but good team, we'll do it. It was a long 12 hours, but the fix is already applied, and the team is eager to get the three cars out racing again. Every race we hopefully get better. Mechanical excellence is the team's goal, but for the three Subaru drivers, the focus remains on racecraft. In GRC, it has become clear that although a great launch is important, victories are handed to those who can exit the first corner unscathed. With four to ten cars in a given race, not everyone can be first through the corner. At times it seems like the luck of the draw, but ask a seasoned driver, and he will tell you there is an art to it. In Bristol, the first corner acts like a funnel. The cars dive off the banking into a narrow opening through the dirt section. One approach is to steer clear of the chaos, let other cars duke it out, and then hunt for openings as they present themselves. Farah Isaksen, a three-time European Rallycross champion, uses a different tactic. Cut to the inside, take the dominant line, and leave space for other cars to fall to the outside. The strategy works perfectly, and Sfera wins his heat race to advance to the final. Not my first race. Not too bad. I know these things. <laughs> I take the horn out from my helmet. So it's not possible to pass me there. Very really impressive. good. I'm in the first row in the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything can happen now. That's right. In the yeah, final, Sfera tries the same strategy. After a solid launch, he cuts across the banking. As the first four cars jostle for position, he's created the buffer he hoped for. He clears the corner in second place. A 
A lap later, Spera takes a hit from behind from Brian Deegan. The awkward nudge pinches his exhaust shut. His engine is down on power for the rest of the race, but Spera fights as hard as possible to salvage an impressive fourth place finish. It may not be a podium, but the team is reassured. The last minute repair withstood a hard test and the car showed resilience and speed. Sfera won his heat and had a second place finish within his grasp. When the Subra is coming in the front there, all the four guys is like, you know, like a magnet. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, the exhaust, okay, we said, excellent. <laughs> so far from the, from the podium. So this is good, this is a small victory for us. For the team, X Games Los Angeles can't come soon enough. <laughs> it was easy, anybody could do it. On the other side of the country, at the New England Forest Rally, Subaru Rally Team USA is preparing for a different task. With a lead in championship points, an outsider would suggest the team could coast to a championship. The reality within the team is entirely different. One bad result and the lead is erased. Progress and pace are only found in hard work and constant attention to detail. Their speed is a result of every piece of the puzzle clicking together with perfection. Right six in, over jump, okay. Then slow in right six, tightens up a big crest into right four in, 50. With two events remaining after the New England Forest Rally, you wouldn't call this the home stretch, but everyone's focus is starting to shift to the bigger picture. The slightest slip can open the door for their competitors. Antoine Lestage is back from his large crash in Oregon, but in a car that hasn't seen action for years. He'll struggle with mechanical issues, but Ken Block is putting on a charge. Rightish crest, then left six tightens don't. And flat right, 30, cared left five long, tightens in over middle jump. Left two plus of a crest dip. It's a late right four long opens. 120. Turn left two onto the tarmac. Three point four seconds. That's all that separates Subaru Rally Team USA's David Higgins from arch rival Ken Block. Yeah, we uh, we just done uh, Concord Pond, and I know that's one of Ken's favourite stages in the, the whole world for rallying. So uh, we're pretty pretty happy to be that close. So we know our strengths are in the next couple of stages, so we can really push on in these two. Twenty minutes in service. Check to see if it's straight. Look to make sure nothing loosened up. Perform routine checks. Clean up the grease that's sprayed all over the place. Adjust the suspension ride height. Change the ride height a little bit. And David and Craig are back on the stages. Set it back out. <laughs> One, go. Left crest, 50. Keep right over crest. It's early left five plus. It's over crest. 120. Right six. Tightens right four plus in over crest. Then left four long over crest and bad dips. 60. Late right five in. And. Second is good, but first is better. The skill of driving at the limit while hunting for an advantage occupies the team for the remaining stages. The loss and gain of seconds, stage by stage, shows how close the battle is with their rivals. It's a good start and they were tough stages. For us, we just got to keep pressure on Ken, keep pushing hard and making it so we can't afford to back off and then just see how it goes tomorrow. P30 late right three plus. And right four plus in over big crest. Day one ends with the Subaru team conceding 16 seconds to block. But the dust is far from settled. Next time, mere seconds decide the result at the New England Forest Rally. Good racing. Good racing. <laughs> but there is no time to take it all in as the team jets off to LA for everything X Games. The Subaru was going fast this weekend. Is that what it is? Yeah. Big heavy foot? That's next time on Launch Control.
Same as like Comart. <laughs> <laughs> 